Another pattern you tend to see really early in life is uh, social anxiety. Uh, some children have much more difficulty than others joining in with other children when they play. They always are holding back from the other children. So you'll go to this play group, there'll be six or seven children there. Six of them will join in and your child, the seventh one, is holding back right beside you. You get the feeling they love to join in, but they're just inhibited. So, so that's a common kind of uh, example of social anxiety in the really young kids. Um, as the kids get older, uh, some of the patterns you see is uh, children who become quite comfortable with familiar adults but still have trouble uh, engaging with other children. And some of these children, uh, if you allow it to go on, they'll prefer to play by themselves. And the problem there is they miss out on learning a lot of the skills that are involved in developing friendships. So as children get older, social anxiety starts to look different. You see some of the reluctance to join in with others, reluctance to initiate. If a friend calls them to go out, they'll go out, but they'll never initiate this, the call themselves. Uh, they won't suggest an activity to friends. If the friends are suggesting something they haven't tried before, they might uh, say no to the invitation. Uh, and those are common situations. And then another aspect you see as, as children get older is they start to worry more about what other people think about them. So they worry about what their peers think about them in terms of dress and appearance and are they cool or not cool. Since social life and social interactions are so important in our life, we think it's really important as parents and schools and communities to support kids in, in development of social skills and social confidence really. One of the first steps of overcoming anxiety is just accepting that some areas are difficult for, their, for your child and that really every child is different. So uh, uh, some children are just sort of very, very prone to developing anxiety problems and it's important to accept that about your child. It's also important to control your own emotion. Sometimes parents are tempted to try to get through situations by uh, using a really loud voice or threatening or forcing uh, or those kind of situations and often that really just escalates anxiety. 